Hey guys, in this video I'll do a quick energy analysis of a harmonically forced system. But first, some background. Let's say we have a spring mass damper system that's being excited by a force F0 cosine omega t. We know the equation of motion for the system is given by this. This term is the transient response, and this term is the steady state response. The transient response will die away with time due to damping, making it effectively zero, so let's not consider it. Now let's remind ourselves that the work done on a system, W, is defined by the integral of f dx, where f is an external force applied on a particle in the direction of the displacement of that particle, and x is just the displacement of that particle. Okay, that's enough background, now let's figure out what the work done by the harmonic force on our system is. Well, the force is just f0 cosine omega t, so the work is just this. To integrate this, remember that our long-term equation of motion is just x is equal to capital X cosine omega t minus phi. Let's differentiate this to get dx dt. Now let's sub out dx to change our variable of integration to time. Now what should our bounds be? Well, it's really up to us. Let's say we want to find the work done by this force over one full oscillation of our block. Well, one oscillation lasts t is equal to 2 pi on omega seconds, so let's integrate from 0 to 2 pi over omega. Once you do the integration, you'll get the answer capital X f naught pi sine phi. And so what we've just found is the energy added to our spring mass damper system in a single cycle due to the excitation force. But we're not done. The damping force will do work in our system as well. So let's find that too. Well, the damping force is minus C dx dt. Applying the same trick as last time, we get expressions for dx dt and sub it in to get this integral. Once you evaluate this, you'll get minus c x squared omega pi. And this is the energy added to our system per cycle due to the damping force. So let's summarize. We know that the energy added by the harmonic force is this, and the energy added by the damping force is this per cycle. Also notice from the sign of these expressions, wh is greater than or equal to zero, and WD is less than or equal to zero, which implies the harmonic force adds energy with every single cycle, and the damper dissipates energy every cycle. These look like pretty separate results, but if you think about it, the net energy into the spring mass damper system must be zero. Otherwise, the energy would accumulate every single cycle, and the amplitude would get larger and larger and larger, approaching infinity. So that means that the net energy per cycle, wh plus wd, must equal zero. And that's it. We've shown that the harmonic force adds energy at the same rate the damper dissipates it.